And from food now to working out, you may have come across pictures of gym selfies on social media, right? People working out or maybe they're finishing a marathon. Well, now there's a study that kind of scrolling through gym selfies may actually do more harm than good for some social media users. We wanted to talk more about this, so we invited our Dr. Parth and Andy in. All right, tell us, how are these gym selfies affecting people, doctor? So Joanne, so I found this study quite interesting because I've gone to the gym and posted workout selfies in hopes to inspire others, but it turns out that gym selfies affect people in different ways. So researchers interviewed 230 social media users and they found if a person was exposed to a high number of fitness posts, they were more likely to be worried about their weight and body image compared to those who saw very few. All right, now you said gym selfies affect people differently, so let's talk about the positive side of this. Who's kind of motivated by it or a what? Absolutely, so it turns out that if the fitness selfies are from people you look up to, you can actually be motivated and take a positive attitude towards exercise. The problem is you may not consciously realize how these posts affect you while you scroll through. So I've got some prescriptions to help. First of all, when viewing gym selfies, pay attention to how they make you feel. If you start comparing yourself in a negative way, you could be hurting your self-esteem. Also, whether you're a gym junkie or just a couch potato like many of us making lifestyle changes, avoid the pitfalls of social comparison. Don't get fixated on the false image of perfection. And remember, movement is key to a healthy life. Always use encouraging words when really talking to yourself and feel good about any exercise that you do. And lastly, be aware of the psychological impact that social media can have when posting fitness selfies, write positive pro-health messages that inspire people. Okay, not mean posts. Like, look how good I look. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's biceps, not a good that's idea, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dr. Nadia. So we know social media has been linked to both good and bad. We know that. But what do you think that people can do to improve their overall self-esteem? Because sometimes it is tough when you're scrolling through. I really think, Joanne, that moderation is super important. Spending too long on social media can certainly affect your quality of life. Also, don't get caught up in what others post. And often there's only one side of life and many people only share the best yeah. parts to help improve self-esteem, spend time with loved ones, right? Focus on your positive qualities and do things you enjoy. Also be forgiving and encourage yourself, really important. Good tips. And please stay with me on 7 Action News at 5. I talk about a fun, effective way to stay in shape, which is great for your heart as well. All right, good stuff as always. Dr. Nanny, thank you so much. My pleasure. Karen.